The first reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. First, the Lord degraded the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the end, he has glorified the seaward road, the land west of the Jordan, the district of the Gentiles. Anguish has taken wing, dispelled in darkness, for there is no gloom where but now there was distress. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom. A light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest. As people make merry when dividing spoils, for the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? Response, the Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. Response, the Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. Response, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul, to the Corinthians. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree in what you say, and that there will be no division among you, but that you be united in the same mind and in the same purpose. For it has been reported to me about you, my brothers and sisters, by Chloe's people, that there are rivalries among you. I mean that each of you is saying, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel and not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its meaning. The Word of the Lord The Gospel reading, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that what had been said through Isaiah, the prophet, might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light on those dwelling in the land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. As he was walking by the sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there, and so to other brothers, 
James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. The Gospel of the Lord Prayer of the Faithful Loving God, sustain us. Loving Father, empower and guide Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and the lay, that through your Spirit, we may make the best choices for the church, even if such choices are difficult to make. We pray, loving God, sustain us. Loving Father, illumine those who govern, that they may manifest your will for us in their crafting of policies that protect and promote human dignity and in their compassionate implementation of the Constitution. We pray, loving God, sustain us. Loving Father, may those of us who are currently undergoing great suffering, materially, emotionally, or spiritually, find consolation in our faithfulness to love and serve each other. We pray, loving God, sustain us. Loving Father, embrace those who have gone ahead of us especially those who are dear to our hearts, we pray. Loving God, sustain us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Loving God, sustain us.